Hi everyone, Siege back here and welcome back to Monster Train where we today play a round with one of the most fun and busted champions in the game. And yes, we just finished this guy, which was, I would say, one of the hardest runs in the game. We are now going to jump into... Oh, it's not. <laughs> I think I got too excited about some other champion. It's not yet his time. It's still Soul Guard's time. But don't get me wrong about this. Soul Guard is a very fun champion as well to play around with. Unlike her default counterpart with his Tethys, Soul Guard is a very decent champion. Um, is that one of the greatest because of Forgan Powers being part of his toolkit? Um, but he's very good in terms of um, finding lines. Now, the problem with Soul Guard is he forces you into an incant line. And... For Soul Guard, um, it's not always the case that you really can go into Incant. Um, for gun powers are very bad in cut cards, which is the main reason that that's very difficult for us. But today we are going to be starting with Default Hellhorn as uh, the supporting allied clan, which means we have torches, which means we have extra spells to play around with. Now. One thing you want to look for with Soul Guard in your line is some way to keep him alive if you roll into the Frostbite version of him or Incant hard to unlock him thanks to his other line. So let's go ahead and view the lines of Soul Guard here. We have Soul Guard, we have three different lines as usual. The first line is a line that I don't know why it exists, but it's not very good. Basically, what happens here is that every time you cast a spell, you incant, you add a shard into the shard counter. And then you multiply that number with 7. So for 10 shards, you deal 70 damage to the front unit. Which is pretty bad. I mean, it doesn't even kill a heavy in front. And you have so little HP that I don't even know why this line is here. Um, You don't get supporting HP. You don't yet. I guess you put it in the back, which is the main reason for it, I guess. Um, I don't even know how to scale this one here. So, we're going to not talk about dire channel it's a dire line that you never would want to go into now you have the next line which is cold channel here very good line um but the problem with this line is unless you go into cold channel three you get you only have one frostbite per shard which is nothing to scoff at the problem is he does start off with a very low HP pool of 17. Sorry, 15. <laughs> I don't know where I picked up the 17. And um, at level 2, he does get additional 35 HP, which is always desirable. But you always want to go full the full cold channel line, if at all possible. So that's your cold channel line. It's very strong coming into Relentless. If you can prop up its HP, keep it alive. It's going to deal a lot of damage and relentless for you. Now, the last line that we have is Titan Channel. One of the most busted lines here in terms of stat line. You have a 45-45 here. However, it does come with the downside of needing to incant a certain number of times in order for the unit to be active. Or you would, you're would you going to start hearing me say, hatch the soul guard, something like that. Titan Channel 2, you get 10, shard, 10 stacks that you need to remove. And at uh, Titan Channel 3, you get 15. So, you also always have to consider if you have enough in can to really unlock this unit. Because if not, you basically have a 2 space unit taking up space on the floor, which does basically nothing. Yeah. 
basically that's it. Um, one good benefit of Soul Guard though, he absorbs the Ember Jane on turn one. So yeah, that's I guess one benefit that we get from this champion. So today we run into four gun powers and torches. So let's not dilly dally here. I want to get through all the ten runs, not really today, but as quickly as possible, that we can start recording. Basically, Primordium, Little Fade, and Echo Right. So I'm not mad about Soul Guard here. I'm not scared of him. I do find his lines easy to manage. So let's see what kind of line we need to assemble today here. Okay. So Energy Siphon, Hornbreak, and Titan's Tooth are starting spells against Pushback Talus. Incant Curse Arcus and Patient Seraph. So we need some way to address the patient boy here. Again, we are Exile Stygian with Default Health Horned. Let's see what kind of cards we roll in today outside those starting bonuses that we get. Okay, so temples are at... Ooh, no temples in 2 and 3. It's not common, you see that? We have four, five, six. Ooh, a three temple mid game run. That's gonna be a bit spicy. Uh, gonna be challenging for us. Steel shop removal dupe on ring eight. Steel shop magic shop is bad. Magic shop vortex with money on ring seven versus a trinket shop with horde and health with money in the middle. So both sides in ring seven are perfectly takeable. You have a ring 6 magic shop with cave, a steel shop with vortex. Fine. I like the options. You have a cavern dupe horde on ring 5 versus steel shop with removals. Both fine. Nothing to scoff at here in this shard situation except I guess the ring 8 magic shop. It's not that great right now. You have a ring 4 removal horde banner. Hellhorn to be exact. Magic shop with random health and money. We have another steel shop on ring 3 with a Stygian banner. A uh, hell vent with some pyre remains. And we're starting off with a single Stygian banner on the steel shop. Magic shop only has money here. Okay, I mean no early temples here. So we could take the money here and the artifact coming into ring 3. Thinking as to 25 shards. Which means the infusion would either probably be need to be delayed by ring 5. To be safe in terms of high priest and possibly crystal cloak. Okay, what do we start with? An impsicle start. Hmm. Impsicles are not spells. They are units. Impsical is also, although, Im, although Impsical is a bit bad, it's also good in its own right. Could give you random ember, armor, a lot of good stuff. Let's take it. I'd rather have that than concussive goals. Champion today is, of course, not Dire Channel. We're basically forced into Cold Channel here. We do have pinks, which is nice. Yeah, let's go channel here. That's basically the force we're going to have to deal with today. I don't think I need to grab the money here because we have money in the middle here as well. If possible, I would like to skip it, but he probably would be taking it here. But I'll skip the first one though. Unit draft. Ooh, the plus fours though. Those are gonna hurt us. Hmm... Can I take this unit draft? I have imps. I have seven pings. Could probably manage this. It is scary though, because we might lose gold channel here. Okay, you do have pings. Ooh, I like the start. Good double ping here. Incant one stop floor. Hmm. I'm considering taking. I drew the horn break already. 
Okay, let's do this. Drop the imp into soul guard. Ping it out. And then four gun power downstairs. Clear everything. Good. Okay, we do see get a collector here. That's what I like here. Let's play Queen Zimpling. Torch. Torch. Energy Siphon for gun power. Ooh, they give me a Pyre Chomper. I'll play that. Let me torch someone. I'll just four gun power here. Okay, good. Hmm. How is top floor doing? Hmm. Blast here. Drop a train steward there. Four gun power. Hopefully, we hit Titan's tooth. We don't. Okay, we do get a ping, which is always nice. Let's play the Welder Helper top floor. We torch. We horn break. Four gun power, four gun power. We should win here. I do feel like we win here, no problem. I could even do this and play another Welder Helper. Okay, the Titan suit does not want to get discarded today being annoying a very early unnamed tome i mean that's a patient answer let's snap that in incant lines do like hidden passage though i could take the vent that's a good plus 30 target although not for two more rings it's a zero cost incant though, which I like, but I feel like the hidden passage is something I should consider here. Could see double sirens. I could overstack the floor with that. Double steel shop stigeon. Hmm. It's is it vent or hidden passage here? I do like the incant though, although hidden patches is also an incant. Take the vent. Let's go to the plus 30 target. Hmm. None of these say incant, but they do say multi strike and melee weakness. I don't have any form of scaling right now, which is bad. I feel like I should take the horned warrior though here. Hmm. Yes. Takes the Rage Shiren well. Infusion wise. It's multi strike as well, but Sirens don't really play well into Fragile. Especially the Siren of the Sea. No damage shields here. Maybe I should pick up the rail beater here. Hmm. Has armor. We are also against pushback Talos here, right? Yeah. I need someone with some survivability to survive hits if it gets pushed. Let's take the rail beater. I guess I take the multi-strike guy. Okay. I mean, steel shop it is. Endless plus 25. Give me a sharp. Not that sharp. Hmm. I could pick it up. I could pick the guard of the unnamed up here. It's in cat armor too, which is nice. Polkelia is here as well. I don't like where we're starting right now. I do like the defensive infusion here. I could see maybe unit banner here. Apex him. 
It's nice. Sweepers kind of dead. And all of my units are kind of dead right now. No form of scaling except for that one. So do I slap in a plus 25 on Horned Warrior here? Definitely, right? Yes. Okay. How else is he surviving? Don't even have an imp to use the endless in. Which is pretty bad. I could endless train steward, but that's weird. Okay, I guess I chill on the money. I don't think I even take this. Stay zero. I'm pretty weak. No real form of scaling. This allows me to take this sword and then take an infusion ring four and not be over 50. Yeah, let's skip the money here. We basically did not really spend anything. Zero shards at ring two. Yeah, this guy is scary. Can take the money though. Probably take some hits here, but that's okay. I mean, they give me a molting imp. I'll surely take that. Clears out the floor. Soul guard, horned warrior, we ping. Downstairs, avoid the curse. Okay, do I avoid the curse or the Ember Gene? I guess I can play unnamed Tome downstairs then. Which is fine. Okay. I mean, we do clear the floor here, but he does take a lot of hits. I do feel like a Molting Imp play is in order here. To take away that 15 damage altogether. I then play Guard, Train Steward, Double Forgan Powers, just one. The other one does not want to cooperate. Okay, I do get a Horn Break here, which I probably should take. Yes. Hmm... I can get that with the vent at zero cost, actually. So let's play the torch. The vent. Oh no, I don't. Sad. Okay, miscalculated on that. Could have saved that 2 HP though. Okay, they're giving us a lot of molting imps today, which is always fun. I can torch here. Molting imp. Downstairs. Siphon. Train Steward. And we get to connect the Titans to it, which is always fun. I think we get the win here. We're at zero shards anyways. I mean, who else is even complaining about this? Okay, I guess I just Fledgling up top and then torch it out. I guess that's the best play there. Get some damage in the back. Wait, they give me another one. I mean, I'll take it. There you go. I can't really rely on Impsicle giving me my scaling options. That's not a very good place to be in. Offering token is decent. Plays well into that Titans 2 that we have. Helical Crystallis is here as well. Pays well with Energy Siphon. Flash Freeze is here as well. It's a very good ping. Although I have better ping. Horn Break. Do I need to take the Helical Crystallis here? Have something more powerful? Yep. Although Incant Offering Token is better, I think. Hmm, okay, they do give me a scaling card here. Ritual of Battle is scaling. I think I need it. It's no minus ones, though. Still taking it, though. How about the Welder Helper here? That's a lot of survivability in front. If I get yet an Endless into that, that's gonna be good. Well, but the Ritual of Battle, though. 
not a very easy run as our first for Soul Guard. How would I protect Soul Guard? Do I drop him off the floor? The problem with the Ritual is I'm not really getting upgrades into it, so it's barely playable. At least Welder Helper gives me some scaling defensive armor in front, which is always nice. I could lean into that as well. Where's my Steel Shops? Good one in five. Could self-infuse it. I could even dupe it on ring 3 if I really wanted to, but I don't think that's correct. It's competing with the shark that I don't have. Steel, steel. Like, we have decent steel shops coming in. I should see an endless somewhere. Magic shop. One. Maybe two. Three. Ritual here. I mean, I do have Guard of the Unnamed. There's a defensive infusion into Horned Warrior. Hmm. Need some scaling, though. Badly. Because... Hellhorn does not really have scaling units. I have some defense and steel worker. Rail beater. Alpha fiend, demon fiend. Who else are my options into Hellhorn here? Branded warrior? Ugh. Nothing from Hellhorn. Basically, looking into Stygian for my scaling. Okay. If I see Endless Shark, that works. If I see Rage Siren, do I play the Rage Siren as the base unit? Maybe. I could use this as an infusion, but I don't really incant hard. Hmm... And I could soft defense another way. Take the ritual here. Might regret that take. No. Go steel shop here. They give, give me a plus 25 multi. What does this Stygian banner have? Oh. It's a sweeper. I guess I do take a sweeper. You give me the plus 25 multi, I should take it. Right? I could put the guard of the unnamed into cold kill, yeah? Ford says... I mean, Cuttlebeard cold kill, yeah, seems nice. But really, soul guard Cuttlebeard? Okay, we have a line. I think if we can keep... Soul Guard alive, we will win. I did get some scaling here. Plus 25. I think she can survive with just a multi strike. And then in, when I incant Guard of the Unnamed in, he gets additional 10, putting him up. Her up to 25. And then I look for incant armor too. I reroll this shop. Right? Do I take a plus 25 into guard here? Temporarily? No. 185? Would I take a quick? Um, a quick is not that bad. Problem though is Soul Guard will not be able to apply too much Frostbite, but I think that's okay. Which means. How about Large Stone? 
large stone quick endless that's basically the offers here do i settle for a plus 25 and check the temple for an overstack that does not scale though but if i plan to put the guard of the unnamed in when he does go up to 25 armor 25 hp and then if i look for incant armor too i should be fine and then that means I don't need to hunt for more steel shops. I could take the dupes, magic shop, make this deck incant a lot better than it's currently is doing. So we spin. Okay, we do see the incant armor too here. I'll take that. The plus 25, I don't need to take. So at ring 4, I do my infusion into cold kale, yeah. And I scale, I guess, 4 armor per incant and I start with 25 HP. I have Ritual of Battle and I dupe that at every possibility. Starting with ring 5 and then ring 8. So 3 copies should be enough. That's my plan. Now, what does this temple have or this caverns have for me? Money? Let's get... Mm, is there money there? Yep. Let's take Heaven's Gold then. I could take Petty Theft, but it's an enemy targeted you spell. So I think it's Heaven's Gold here. Okay. Do we remove units? I could remove the Horned Warrior now. Definitely not taking that as my infusion. I could still do that, actually, go to 3. But then I risk dying to Fragile. So I don't think we should do that. I think he's he needs to go right now. Because he's gonna get in the way of me playing, but I think I can wait on him. Might need his help. Although 15 shards is a little low. Um, He can chill for now. Also adds value into heaven's gold here as damage. Okay. Queen Zimpling, thank you. Soul Guard, Cold Kalia. I should try to connect both for gun powers. That's good. 16. It's gonna take down a lot. Okay, I mean... It's just... I do want the hits coming in though, but... Am I powerful enough to take them? Don't think I can take the fives here. Let's play the guard and the horned warrior here. Soften up the units coming up. Um, I guess I do play the molting imp here. And horn break middle. Let's siphon. I need to play one for gunpower up top. And then drop this unit middle. Bottom, I mean. Okay, that cuttle beard though is scaring us hard here. I should unnamed tome here. Definitely. Let's play welder helper into torch. Into torch. Into four gun power. We incant that floor. Okay, you have a problematic unit coming up. I do like the transcendent play here. But I feel like we need to play middle by doing offering token into Titan's Tooth. Good. Deletes that scary fellow. Play transcendent. Play torch. Play incant. 
Okay, he survives with two. That's okay. We can manage right now. Play Queen Zimpling in front. Save the HP. Let's incant here. Train Steward drops. We're basically not really dealing any damage right now. But thanks to all of the Frostbite and Cuttlebeard, we should win Relentless here. He's down to 56. Without us even connecting into him. Good. Need to scale though. Would I pick up the Hellhorn here? Spike of the Hellhorn. That's some rage and armor. But I do like some way to solve the Divinity Sweep. And Sap can help us with that. Oh. An Eel Gorgon right now, eh? Or a shark. I mean, I don't think it's Eel Gorgon because we don't have a way to get sirens anymore. So it's probably going to act as an infusion into Cold Kalia, but we need a defense. I'll just take Shark. Shark with Cuttlebeard is insane. I can actually take Space, Fit Soul Guard, Cold Kalia, and Shark. But right now, I think we need to draw more cards and play more cards. No need for the Vortex here. We get to the Magic Shop. We... What do we do? We make things free? Is that even correct? Incans are not that great right now. I mean, I do like the minus one into Ritual of Battle. I think that's one of the most important things we could do here. We also have a spell chain. Which I don't think there's a valid candidate in this setup. Definitely just the infusion here. Also considering double shark. Which means I could visit the steel shop here or maybe just the dupe here get a second shark. So which means we still want to visit a steel shop. That's good. We're visiting one and ring eight though. So I guess that could be the one. We still have options start at last on ring six and five. Champion here. Definitely cold channel two. We're going all out cold channel here. Remove consume. No. 20 consume. Do I want to burn my torches? Is the question here. Don't really incant well without them. But having a good torch is good. Whittle of battle takes the minus one. We spin this. A double stack. Even take the double stack here. I don't think so. Consume a torch. Minus one into the ritual again. Yep. I mean, that's, I guess, the best we could do. Is it infusion time? Because this currently is for banner units, which is bad. Let's do the guard infusion now. And let's cut. Cut the Horned Warrior. Okay, that should make our draws a lot better coming into ring 4 here. Yeah, this guy, multi-strike is... Okay. Maybe we find Founding Seal here and it's okay if we have less incants because we double each and one of them. So here, I guess it's Soul Guard. No way to avoid the... Ember Jane, unless I want to sacrifice the armor. Let's do this. Do I drop the shark downstairs? Or do I incant here? 
I mean, it doesn't matter if I really ping it right now. So let's stop Shark Middle. Okay, definitely play the Ritual here. Let's Horn Break in the back. I should unname Tome this guy. Might have to reconsider that next time. Okay. Can't really ping here well. But I can take the imp in for scaling. Drop 6, 12. So if it's just 18 plus 6 is 24, shark is still dead. So I guess I just do it like this. We vent. For gun power. We get hit a couple of times. I guess I should not have put the imp in front there, right? I think that was the mistake I made. Super sap. Okay, let's incant hard top floor. We need to fix problems here. Okay, I mean, we killed the floor, so I guess I could torch. Imp in front. Continue to incant. I could have please played the unnamed tome there, but this is perfectly okay. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's not meant to be. Need to get rid of this back units here. I mean, it's just vent, right? Rage. Siphon. Impish. Silence. Vent. Organ power. Good. I think we clear this, no problem. Yep, we clear this. Yeah, that's a lot of frostbite apply thanks to Cuttlebeard. I like Split Anvil here. Solves a lot of Ember problems. Pounding Seal. That's for frostbite on the floor. How about Guardian's Amulet? Hmm. Is it just tons of frostbite in this run to win? Hmm. That likes to sweep though. Hmm. Let's take the Guardian's amulet. Place well into split anvil. Hmm. Important work. I guess I can play that anytime. Because I always have a nymph. So it's basically... I guess... Free draw? Yeah, it's basically free draw, but... I might need an flame though for scaling of cold Kalia here. Takes minus ones again well. Let's take and flame here. It's not a good card, but I think I need extra scaling. I think I need to do the ritual here. Yeah, that was planned ahead of time. Capricious? Take sigil seaweed here. Caverns? More ember? More Ember to play cards. I can discard cards thanks to Forgan Power. I mean... Hmm. And Flay makes Horn Breaks free. Sap. I could actually hold over Sap. I think that's... Okay. 
Actually, even Titan's Tooth is a good holdover now. Do I need the extra Ember here versus the... Hmm. Do I need it? I don't think I need it. It's fun though to play some extra Ember, but again, split and will we skip? Hmm, 40 shards is pretty low where at where we are at right now. Take a second ritual. A minus two. And flame, make it more playable. I mean, I do like that. Good shard investment. Still can't do an infusion here. 15, 25. Eh, we're still fine in terms of shard count. Do I need to cut anything here? I think I like my spells. Move on. Okay, we have double the scaling power now every draw through. This should be free. Okay, good job, Sigil Seaweed. That's a lot of power right there. Mm. Let's play the Rage Imp Soul Guard. I need to incant here. Yep, we clear the floor. Play Shark Middle. Okay, good. Okay, let's play Pyre Chomper, Cold Kalia, ping it out. Unit out here. Need to scale top floor. Scale the incants. Okay, we get a flame ritual here. We drop a rage card. We ping. We incant. Yeah, we continue to incant here. Give armor, give shard counts. Okay, I do get a fire chomper here. Hmm, torch. Should try to clean this up, right? I guess I play this here. I vent here. In can top floor. I mean, the Impsicle is trying to be very helpful right now to us. What I'm seeing here. But the armor in front though is really a big problem for us. Need to drop this guy here in order to torch someone here. Which means I can frostbite downstairs. Yeah, this guy's gonna kill himself thanks to frostbite for sure. Okay, we should win here. Yep, we do. Okay, we're out of this. Huh. Still have problems though in this build. I mean, I take a zero cost in, can't and preserve. Glacial seal round two. That's a lot of frostbite onto the floor. I mean, maybe I just take a second unnamed tome. Not really needing to hold anything. Let's Let's take a second unnamed tome. It is helpful. It's a good card. Inferno addresses waves. Sure. I guess we win with spells. I am looking for a holdover. That would make this incant line very strong. So I need removals. I guess, yeah, the train stewards are still here, but the holdover is insane. If we see it. Let's freeze something. Try to freeze 
Inferno. Plus 10 here goes to Hornbreak. Minus 1 here. It's minus 1 the torches in order to ping out imps. No hold over. Game does not feel generous today. Okay. Temple says spell chain. I would spell chain an inferno uh an flame here. It's a double play. Double incants as well. Ten in piercing. Something playable on floor. That's 15. This is 10, but this is zero cost. Hmm. Something to clear floors. Yeah, let's put it on Titan's tooth. 80 shards is a bit high, but I think we are taking value here. Oh. Is it... Is it sapstone? No, then this is not sure. We take sunderstone here. Makes those two hits rip. Hit really hard. It's like an ex it's like an extra multi strike when you think about it. Yeah, we like it. Where are we going next? I could visit the magic trinket shop here. See more removal see relics. So save the money. Yes, save the money. Could see lights gift. But it's not good though. I mean, they do give us the Welder Helper again, which is very much appreciated here. They drop Train Steward, Incant Top Floor. Mm hmm. We. I ping. I shark. Ritual top. Mm -hmm. Shark is just dead. I'll be happy if I connect into him, but I'm not mad if I don't. This is an incant shard, so we play bottom floor here. And then can are not really coming in well. That's one of the problems I'm currently observing here. Not an incant shard, so we're fine. I then play Titan's Tooth here. Make the rest of the cards free. We incant, I guess. I have a Permafrosted Inferno. Ooh, I mean, Pyre Chomper, yes. And then I play the Spike, and then everything else is free. Play Inferno. And then let's play Top Floor. Let's continue to incant here. Okay. Take a number drain. It's fine. Hmm, Queen Zimpling here. Good. Rage is coming in a bit slow though. Can play the Fledgling Imp here, right? Yep. Torch. Torch. Do I need this? Okay, I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. We're trying to push on here. 
Yeah, I think we win. I think the logic here is whenever you can get Soul Guard into Relentless, you auto win. Yeah, I think we win here. It's just too much Frostbite for the boss. Yep. Do get the win. Ooh, Dark Deal. Uh, that solves my scaling problems. Okay, what do I take here? Do I take space? Possibly play mid-floor if we really wanted to. My top floor survivability is not that great. Do I need the space? I actually don't think I need the space. This is four space. They fit perfectly on the floor. I guess I lose the opportunity to play imps on floor to chomp block. Can I win off top floor though? Huh. <sighs> Don't really have a very good way of keeping my soul guard alive. Hmm. So take space. Maybe shark saves us some HP. Yes, I think that's correct. We go into the trinket shop, I believe. We try to high roll into good stuff. I do like the resonant shard here. Ooh, I mean, first health pack is yes. That's a big yes, but it's fairly limited though. Would I dry rather take the HP? Yeah, I think the HP is better taken here. Allow us to leak some units to the pyre without really thinking about problems. They take cold channel 3 here. Do I take the resonant shard? I think yes. That's a good enough relic for me to consider. I go 95 here. And then I have to do, I guess, the end flame. It's 8. Rage, 10 armor. It's better than the Ritual. Although it does cost a lot of shards. This is 5, 15? Or is it 20 shards actually? Okay. Taking this brings me to 90. 105. And then... If that's 20, I think we're fine. So yeah, we take this money. Because we can use it later and we move on. I think we have a decent line enough here to win. The plus 8s here, we can manage that. We have a lot of things to work out. Things. Okay. Hmm... basically shark I guess I play shark off floor for now play this imp incant organ power good collector is at mid floor hmm I can get it with a, a horn break I have to play the cold kale, yeah, though. Okay, I guess I ping. I mean, I already get it, by the way. So I guess I just invest on cold kale, yeah, top. Yep. Yeah, we need to kill that 230 HP unit. Hmm. Oh, 
How much damage do I take from this guy? One? Okay. Hmm. Okay, we... Okay, what's the play here? I guess I... Hmm... Definitely need to kill this guy at the back. Can do that with... Has to be Hornbreak though. Hmm... Chomp block the 20? Okay, take one. I guess thank you, precious plating here. Play sap. Ugh. I'm bleeding out here. Please help me. Oh no, Old Kelia is dead. That's concerning. The incants are very, very bad. I don't think I survive here. Mm-hmm. Do I even survive? Huh. I need to clear floors as if more efficiently here. Basically drop this inferno later. Soul guard. Shark. Let's incant our friend up top. Hmm. Okay, how do I survive top door here? Mm-hmm. Need to play Inferno somehow. Like here. Kill this guy. If I can get my guy to Relentless, I should be okay. Ugh, the scaling though is very slow. Okay. 
A deal for 100. Not a very healthy number to see. Oh, no. Oh. Maybe Soul Guard Inferno? Inferno. Can I play that guy later? I think I need all the scaling I can get. So sorry, Collector, I can't take you. Mm-hmm. Need the armor in. Hit once. Mm. Kill you. Mm hmm. You mean keep scaling? Mm hmm. We're getting through somehow. That guy, though, is annoyingly alive. Shark, save me. Transcend him, save me. Ah, transcend him, saves me. Oh my god, thank you, transcend him. Oh, that's hard. <sighs> I need something more. Like frostbite. Armor is nice. Take the armor. Go to the steel shop here. Give me endless. I will take a large stone. No temple here, so I can't dupe anyone. Let's remove double train stewards here. What do I have in the trinket shop? Rules of containment is fine. Ford says... Ooh. It's not ashes, right? It's incant. Supercharge the... Yeah, it's definitely founding seal here. Ah. Saved. Run has been saved. Plus 25. If I see an incant armor to here, this shark becomes immortal. Shark is immortal. I guess he's like my soul guard now. Because I can keep him alive, which is good. What's my dupe then? Second dark deal. Scale faster. I incant hard. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Problems have been solved by two very important relics here. Founding Seal, which doubles the incants we do. And Rail Hammer, which also basically doubles the armor that we gain. So I think we just solidified our run right here. Nothing to take here, really. It's just... The dupe and the removal. 
So what's the dupe here? Oh, I don't think I should have taken the large stone on sharp. Ah, oh, that's a problem. I could actually play shark and the cold kale, yeah, together. Mm -hmm. That was a slight mistake there. I should have taken the plus 25, actually. Okay. Who's the dupe here? Second and flame, because it provides armor. It's double incants as well, so we'll basically offset that. I guess it can also be played on Soul Guard in front to keep him alive and well. It's 20 extra shards though. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Is it though? Yeah, should be. Yeah, double incants here. Remove another train steward. Make this deck a little better to play around with. Or just remove one for gun power, actually. Yeah, we go into this. Yeah, that would have been better if I had a plus 25 on that shark. But I think we would be fine. Ooh, I mean, well, their helper is here as well. Could play train steward. Soul Guard, Kalia, ping this out, Incant. Hmm. I should hold on to Shark in case Soul Guard dies. I think that's the play, the best play we could do here. Let's silence first. Let's not make the enemy stronger. Yeah, Soul Guard is gonna die here. We have how much armor in the back? 240? Oh dear. Maybe I just survive out of Cold Kill? Yeah, actually. The incants are gonna be insane. Yeah. I think maybe I could just do that. Once I draw back into shark, I guess we uh, stabilize a bit. Drop the titan's tooth here. Yeah, I mean the in incants here are insane. Like, pretty much through the roof. That's 400 armor. I mean, yes. Play this. Everything else is free. Except Inferno. Okay. Yeah, then you drop Shark here. And he now survives. Yeah, it's like 12 armor per incant. Even more in the back. Torch. <laughs> I guess I just play Shark instead of Soul Guard. He's like a pseudo Soul Guard right now. Yeah, Shark's, Shark's basically immortal thanks to the armor plays. Play the cards. What is this weird thing that's happening to our run? I don't think I've seen this interaction and play and it play out so well. So how much armor is that? Um she has six and 6 per incant, so that's 12. 
times 4? 48? Is that like 48 armor per incant? I wanna see that. I guess I throw away Soul Guard. You've been right? I just throw Soul Guard out, I guess. Shark is better, he incants. Do this, play this, and do this. He rage up. How much is that? Yeah, it, it's 24. Yeah, 24 armor per incant. That's so much armor. Okay. Let's clean out the deck as soon as possible. So that we only play spells. I think that's important. Yeah, we clear this floor. How do I deal with the mini boss though? Do I just drop big inferno there? I guess. Yeah, big inferno. I'll drop the four gun power on him. I think that's important. Can I reasonably get the kill here? We're currently dealing 300. I don't have any spell damage. Can play you and then continue to incant. 600 armor. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I think he dies to the fire. One swing. Okay. Do I just drop this middle though? I just take out the spikes there. That should solve all of our major problems. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird win, but I'll take it. Yeah, we almost got the kill, actually. Might be relentless. Do we pre relentless here? Possibly. If we can incant hard enough. I mean, we don't be relentless here, but I just clear out the curses and we should be good. Yeah, do we get the victory? Yes, definitely. I mean, it's a weird turn of events actually, guys. I did not expect this. I was expecting to really struggle towards this last two fights. But I guess we manage. I mean, shark. Yep, there you go. Huh. A very weird start to our troubles here. Did not see that much endless into the shop. So the shark was not really very powerful. But he basically carried the run. He's a substitute soul guard then. 
kind of got the win out of him. Yeah, 42 wins. Yeah, I feel weird about this run though. I mean like, we had a very good cold Kalia coming into this, but the scaling was pretty bad. We had to rely on Inflame and Double Ritual of Battle, which actually I think is not really even enough. Mm. I guess if we I, I took the Endless Imp, but I did not see Endless anywhere. I'm not sure if I pathed towards all of the Steel Shops. Maybe there is an Endless in this run, but I just did not, not go into them. Maybe I had to. Yeah, there's, I think, a lot of optimization we could do in this run, honestly. But I mean, high rolling into two very good relics to solve survivability, and I guess we win from there. I mean, Cold Kalia with Incant Armor 2. And Founding Seal and Rail Hammer, which means she incants how many? Six, the six, twelve, twenty-four. Yeah, basically twenty-four. And with us having not a very good incant deck as well, I mean it's really very, very bad thanks to Frostbite. I mean organ powers. Uh but yeah, same with Titan Sentry here. I mean he basically became our soul guard because we don't have a way to keep Soul Guard alive, which is the problem in this line that I was really experiencing. We had like damage spells and whatnot, but not really something to keep Soul Guard alive. So, in hindsight, here, was it correct to pick up the Welder Helper in, I don't know, Ring 2? But again, no armor sources here. No Endless on the Imp, so we don't have a way to keep him alive. I mean, there was an Ashes of the Fallen here, so we could have relied on the Impsicle, but. Not a really good way to go into Divinity and Patient here. Yeah, no holdovers as well. Holdover. Yeah, maybe there was a hidden gem in this run before we hit Founding Seal and Railhammer. But I guess we don't need those gems if we have this large diamonds of insane power into Founding Seal and Railhammer. So yeah, I guess I'll leave you guys at that with this victory for our first Soul Guard run. I think I still have some things to learn about Soul Guard in this nine remaining runs. So for now, leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, guys, remember, Siege Today. Thank you very much for watching.